So how do we pray this eclipse prayer? Firstly, after making the intention and opening the prayer with Takbiratul Ihram, you read Surah Al-Fatiha, followed by another surah of your choice, just like you do in a normal prayer. Following this, one must bow and prolong his bowing with extra tasbih and dua. Then after this, one must stand up again and recite Surah Al-Fatiha once more, followed by a secondary recitation of the Qur'an. And this is the major difference in the eclipse prayer. Then after this, one must bow again and also prolong his bowing, although not as long as the first. So that's two Fatiha and Qur'an recitations and two Ruku' in the one unit of prayer. Then after this, one continues to pray as normal by standing back up and prostrating twice. It's recommended, however, to prolong the sujood. In the second rak'ah, one must repeat the same process as in the first, followed by the tashahud and the taslim. The prayer is two rak'at in totality, and it is recommended to be prayed in congregation. It's also followed by a sermon enjoining people towards righteousness and to leave off sin and vice. If it's a lunar eclipse, then the prayer is recited out loud, while if it's a solar eclipse, the prayer is recited to oneself silently. Now, of course, there are other valid opinions of how this prayer can be performed within the four major schools of fiqh. So it's best to follow the lead of your local scholar and to avoid any unnecessary debates. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who revive the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in all our actions. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.